Hey y'all, this is 3D. How y'all doing? I just wanted to do a an emergency like water video for people out there that are trying to get prepped. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes uh, the prepping part of me has been the mainstay of trying to make the transition from prepper to homesteader because you can't always spend thousands of dollars all at once and being able to uh, go back to the prepper skills is always a valuable thing so if you find yourself without water and due to no electricity or no well or something like that I just wanted to kind of pass on a a little tip for you um, if you live somewhere where you're having to bring water in bring water in from like a lake or a creek or standing water or rain catchment um, a good thing see I have some rain catchment right here a good thing to have is like a pre-filter for the water I made this uh, about a year and a half ago it's made out of two buckets and what we have here is the way this is made it's a pre-filter for standing water or anything like that this bucket is empty it's got a spigot on it this bucket right here has got probably a third of sand a third of pebbles and it's topped off with river rock on the top and then I put a cloth on the top to uh, kind of work as a filter because excuse me but uh, anytime you use a sand filter like this and you're pouring in standing water or rain water you're going to get little swimmers um, it's inevitable so this cloth just kind of catches all those little swimmers and the big debris the water goes through this pre-filter and let me let me grab a bucket of water here so that you can see what I'm talking about And you can build this filter out of a two liter bottle. It's the same concept. Like if, if you have a two liter bottle, and this water comes out pretty clear. And like I said, this is a pre-filter. I would not drink this, though they say you can. I would treat it either with water tabs but this takes the murkiness out of the water um, if you have to use like brackish water or water that's been standing somewhere for a long time um, you can use one of these you can build this filter yourself and I would suggest doing it before SHTF because uh, it's going to be just a whole lot harder afterwards but with this pre-filtered water I take this water and I boil it for 10 minutes and I let that water cool off and then I put that water into my filter let me uh, walk around that's that's the life right there try not to disturb her but this is my other water filter which you can make you don't have to buy an expensive Berkey 
Um, this water filter has two filters in it and then it comes out perfect drinking water. Uh, this was gifted to me by um, the X Nation and I can't tell you how grateful I am to them because I've been using this water filter for over two years now and I've put thousands of gallons of water through this water filter. It was made by Nina at Southern Art Homestead. Um, not sure if she still has her um, channel up or not, but there's plenty of videos on, t on YouTube on how to make bucket filters. And um, I would definitely have uh, a filter system. So after the water gets boiled, and um, cools down, you can put it through this filter system and it's drinkable. So I just wanted to do kind of like a update. I'm not an update, but kind of like a tip for you guys so that you could have some emergency drinking water you can, like I said, you can make these out of two liter bottles. They're small, but you can, it's the same concept. Um, about a third of sand, a third of gravel, and the rest of it's river rock. And uh, this is how you can process standing water to make it drinkable. If you live in an apartment or a house in the city or something and you have access, you can carry in a five-gallon bucket and use this system. Um, so I just wanted to uh, send out a prepping tip for SHTF, and I hope that everyone is doing well. I send you much love, and God bless.